same values are really good for people with dementia. And they can use their imaginations to create whatever it is they wish. Gender definitely does have an influence on how children select toys. I think that toys can be very beneficial for a child's education. Lego is here. Hey, kids. In the UK, the average spent on children's toys is £438 per child. But can toys be used for more than just recreational purposes? Can they help develop young children's social skills? I do think children benefit socially from coming to Weathertops. Um, it gives them an opportunity to share, learn different communication skills and interaction skills. And it's really important that they do get to work and play with other children, as well as the adults that are in the room, such as our sixth form students and also parents and carers. Physically, um, they can develop all their different um, fine motor and gross motor skills. And then emotionally, it's a really good time for them to be able to be a little bit more independent. That's what parents want as we move them up to school. Yeah, I do think children benefit coming from Eversley Nursery School. The whole nursery environment, um, being with friends, play. We work to the EYFS, so um, it's a government programme. All children learn individually. We track all their progress, so you can see what they've learned and where they've achieved. All of my own children have come here as well, um, and now they're all, well, one's still here and three are in um, school. One's just past the 11 plus, so that's proof that they've benefited from coming here. The girls that plan it, both the Level 2 childcare students and the A-level students, have to make sure that they've got activities out for a wide range of children. So we have children from 0 to 4. They've got to make sure that there's stimulating activities there ready for them to, as I say, to problem solve, improve their concentration. So even something as simple as Duplo is absolutely fantastic for them, learning their colours, you can do it on numbers, you can do it on shapes, sizes, and then they can use their imaginations to create whatever it is they wish. Some of the best things you can do with children, something sat, like, sat next to you at the moment, lovely cardboard box. It's amazing what children can do, filling it, emptying it, sitting in it, turning it, turn it into a boat or a hat or a helmet. Sometimes some of the most beautiful toys and experiences that you see with the children are not, not expensive ones, they are the cheapest ones. My favourite toy when I was younger was trains. My favourite toy when I was younger was Lego. My favourite toy when I was a child was a Nintendo DS because of the variety of games. My favourite toy when I was younger was an ET 3D viewer. I don't think there's any one toy other than saying that the setting needs to make sure that there's opportunities for children to use their imagination and that's what a, an early year setting should be about. Not buying one particular toy that they would get something from and calling it an educational toy. All toys should have some educational value of some description. So it's about making sure those toys are available for all children to access in whatever way they wish. However, children don't just benefit from toys in social situations. They can also be used to develop in an educational sense. Recently, it has been discussed that a child's choice of toys could affect their future careers. For instance, Gender-specific toys could possibly steer children away from things that will specifically benefit them in their future. I think that toys can be very beneficial for a child's education. So, for example, integrating toys and playing about books that children are reading in school can help them with their literacy development and it can help them uh, learn to retell the story 